Hello everyone, my name is Jitender Bafna. Today we are going to see how to configure a Jenkins CI CD pipeline for your MuleSoft application. I have already published a 4 video okay, and this is the 5th video in this CI CD pipeline for your MuleSoft application. So what we have seen in our 4 previous video, we have seen like build pipeline plugin, how to use github plugin okay and apart from that like we have seen how to configure Jenkins file for your MuleSoft application right and like how to create a jobs for or using Jenkins file in using Jenkins file okay so let me do one thing let me open any point studio the first prerequisite for this video please watch all this all the f previous four videos of this series fine so in last video what we have seen we have seen like we have, have defined a Jenkins pipeline under Jenkins pipeline we have various stages like build deploy and perform regression testing but we are missing one important stage that is perform AM unit testing that is one of the important part for your MuleSoft application you know AM unit is a great testing feature provided by the MuleSoft and one of the good thing about the MuleSoft uh, like it support all the CI tools which can be used for DevOps like it support Jenkins, it support Git, GitHub, SVN, it support Nexus repository, it's, it have a good very good support for Maven ok so it supports almost everything so that's a good one of the good thing about the MuleSoft so I have already written some test cases so that test cases is checking like uh, make sure like this all of so this all validation should be successful like payload should not be null like media type the content type in the response should be application JSON and the encoding of the uh, response should be UTF-8 so I have already published video on this so you can go through that video so this is my M unit test cases now what I will do first thing I will open the Jenkins file I will add one more stage between build application and deploy application that is add M unit test case testing so I will simply copy this build application I will add it here and I will say M unit testing you can give any name whatever you want but I will give M unit testing application whatever okay you can give any name and save it and make sure like this file is present in your MuleSoft application fine so next step I will create one job so for that I will go to Jenkins and I will say create new I will give world time zone I will say pipeline and I will say ok the first thing I have to automatically pick the code or I have to automatically check out the code and start building process so for that what I will do I will going to pull SCM every one minute so I will say star 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 this five star then you have to define the pipeline so that you simply what you can do you can simply copy this code and paste it here the, here so it is pipeline but we will not going to do that we will say pipeline script from SCM next thing what is SCM it's a git and you have to give the path for github so go to your github and just simply say clone download and copy this is my github part where I will going to check in the code go to again and paste it here and none you can add the credential so you can see like username password ID so you can add your git, git username and git password and you can give any description whatever for me I already set up the username password I will not give it again so I will say git so you can specify brand I uh, currently I will read from master and script path is Jenkins file so Jenkins file should be available in your application now save it okay so now I will start checking the code so I will say git status so it will say Jenkins file has been modified we have recently modified Jenkins file we have added the test stage now I will say git add dot then I will say git commit minus m Jenkins file modified enter I will just push the code to github so git push 
origin master so it will push the code let me stop because we have already put some code there so I don't want to pick this let me remove this because whatever code I will check in now it should pick that because it pick up some earlier checking code so let, let's see see now it start the code which we have checking right so now it, it will start building that one okay so now it start you know pick check out the code and check any point cloud hub I don't have any application on this cloud hub so let's wait so let's wait till it build application and you can see it here or either if you want to see the status output click on here and console output now I, I want to explain some more thing before you know pipeline get completed so let's consider if something goes wrong at test application what will be hap what will happen the next step will not get executed so like for for getting next step executed the previous step should be a successful so like if any one of the step got failed this job will become red so it's completely failed job so make sure everything is get successful now it's performing the clean install I had done a mistake in the pipeline instead of like clean install I should write it MVN test no problem we will run it again I will stop that pipeline and check in the code again so it can pick it the code because I written the wrong command there and sorry for that so it will take some time again so let me save everything okay it should be MVN test right it should not be MVN clean install let me quickly add it I will quickly commit it I will quickly move the code to github so this pipe will get stopped so now I have stopped the both pipeline because I have written one wrong command so I corrected it now I have checked in the code so it should trigger the job again so let's wait till it triggered the job okay now it's triggered the job so it will start running So now I checked out the code, it start building the application. You can click here and see what is happening. So now I start building the code. So I'm just making sure the commands whatever we are running. So first it run the MVN clean install. now it should run now you can see it's run the correct command that is mvn test 
last time I put wrong I will give one more suggestion while when you say MVN clean install at that time you just always make sure skip test case is equal to true so it will not run the test cases during NVN clean install right now it's running the test cases for MVN clean install as well as for MVN test so please make sure you skip the test cases while cleaning and testing while cleaning and installing So it was successful now it's deploying the application so it start running the MVM package deploy minus D mule deploy so it is the fourth stage or I think it's a third stage in our mule pipeline or our application pipeline let me check yeah the checkout is fine and build application a minute now it's deploying the application so let me check if anything is available on this so let me go there hopefully everything will be successful this time no still nothing because still it's it has to run the command and see it's running the test case for it also so always make sure you skip the test cases for these steps because we are already explicit, explicitly we are already giving the command MVN test so we have already stages to test the test cases so rather it's better to skip the test cases as various, various stages so it's a simple command so skip test case equals to true skip test equals to true something now it's start uploading hopefully the application will be there yes now application you can find the application in your cloud hub runtime manager it will take some some minutes few minutes let's see what happens after uploading it will try to start the application let's keep eye on this it the status should change to deploying soon it's still uploading first it upload the whatever zip var file then start deploying So sometime I have a connection issue and it get connection out but hopefully it will be successful only it should not take this much of the time it's still undeployed it's still undeployed due to some connection problem it taking some time okay now it gone to next stage it's good it's a good news so now its status is deploying now it's completely depend on your internet connection it's generally it should not take this much of the time but that's fine so, so now application in deploying stays soon it should be in started stage updating 
now it got started so and hopefully it will be success here also in some few seconds let me go to dashboard and what is happening there so it took some sort of time 2 minutes 24 seconds for deploying it was successful so generally it should not take this much of the time for deploying the application but that's fine now it's performing the reg regression testing it was completely successful all our five stages like from checking out the code building application performing any unit testing deploying application perform regression testing everything is successful so let me click here let me click on console output and let me go till end so you can see this is the test case result this is a new main test case result so nothing has failed everything is successful so i hope you like the video if you like video please click on like and subscribe to my video thanks for watching video